Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Nothing Phone 1. And guys, this is a review net, so I got three packages, so this would be the phone itself. Looks like they have also sent a case, so a uh, case is also sold, I believe. And we also got this pamphlet, which uh, talks a little bit about the Nothing uh, Phone. I'll just uh, take a screenshot and you can pause the screen if you want to just read it and talks about some of the new features uh, and uh, nothing OS and a lot of hype about this phone uh, in 2022 I would say this is the most hype phone as of now and guys this video will be divided into two parts the first part will be the unboxing and I'm also going to open the phone for the first time so I'm also going to look at it the first time and in the second part of the video I'll use this phone for a little bit so that I can give you a better initial overview no way this is a full review guys uh, if you guys know my full review Reviews take time I will review this phone but that video will come on later after a week or so so let's open this up uh, on this and touch nothing much it just says nothing over here phone one so uh, this is the first model hopefully they'll be releasing more phones. and here interesting thing at the back is uh, it says that it's assembled in India and it's actually manufactured in India and looks like they have sent us the higher end uh, variant uh, uh, that comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage there'll also be a base variant that will come with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of uh, storage and guys uh, I don't know the pricing as uh, of now so I'm also I just don't want to speculate what is the pricing we are hearing rumors that it might be priced somewhere around 31 to 35,000 if I know the price I'll add it in the description but as of now I also do not know the pricing so let's open this up now and uh, okay so it's a square box so looks like you can just tear this yeah looks like yeah like this and you got to tear this okay yeah so so <laughs> you know that if a phone is open so this just comes out like this okay this part just comes out yes and uh, looks like no charger then if the box is so slim but this is supposed to have wireless charging and uh, this is the white uh, color one uh, i believe there is also one more black colored one also like this yes and uh, we have this okay yes these are led lights they call the gulf interface so these will light up and uh, this is glass guys this is uh, gorilla glass and uh, this is also gorilla glass 6.55 inch uh, full hd plus amoled screen that we are getting and uh, the back i like the camera on the back instead of giving three or four useless cameras uh, they are giving two cameras and two both of them are very very functional cameras the main camera is a 50 megapixel sony imx 766 so it's a pretty good sensor and the second camera is ultra wide but this is also 50 megapixel so no gimmicks of that two two megapixel so bold move i would say and back uh, this is uh, the new thing is that uh, the, this is supposed to have wireless charging also which is generally not found in mid-range and premium mid-range uh, smartphone so that's actually a new thing and these will actually light up so we'll look at it uh, this is powered by the snapdragon 778 plus uh, processor we have seen this in the moto edge 30 and uh, the handset uh, uh, initial impressions this is the first time i'm also looking at this handset guys so uh, with you i just want to keep my impressions raw so this is aluminium and this gives a vibe of the iphone to be very frank we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, here we just have the power on of uh, button so looks like in display fingerprint scan might be there on this one uh, bottom is the speaker type c port and your sim tray let's see and uh, this should be dual nano sim yes and it also has a rubber gasket so that's interesting so dual sim uh, again uh, no micro sd card as expected and uh, here we have the volume rocker so again give the iphone vibes in terms of looks i would say back pretty interesting we'll have to boot it up and see how these lights light up and all that stuff and i completely forgot there is one more section of the box so let's see what do we get in this that's it yeah so it looks like here we have some other stuff also so some paperwork okay nothing that much and a usb type c charging cable so no charger in the box guys so that's what we get in the box so let me do the one thing let me just keep all this to the side and let me actually boot this device for the first time 
Uh, front facing is a 16 megapixel camera guys so i'll just boot this up set it up and then we will continue so hi guys i'm shooting this part of the video after about two days so i've used this device a little bit so that i can give you a better initial impression so let's uh, have a look at this and i've installed quite a few apps because my primary sum is in this one and i like the fact that the call quality was very good at least with airtel uh, both on cellular and wi-fi calling no issues uh, no proximity sensor issues on this one uh, and as you can see this is nothing os uh, they call it nothing OS, but i'll call it a ui so very close to stock android and one thing that i loved on this smartphone is that there was absolutely no bloatware not even facebook app was pre-installed so nothing uh, no extra stuff was installed on this apart from this recorder app which i think so is a native app for, for this nothing os apart from that nothing else was installed not even facebook and stuff like that so very clean uh, ui and they have made some changes to the ui as you can see the quick toggles over here uh, this is a little bit different uh, but again closer to what is a stock android experience and if you go over here, uh, this is the traditional, uh, what do you say, settings that you get. But again, the font is different. This is the nothing font that they use. And if you go in everything, uh, you have something like that. So uh, the new thing is that this has this glyph interface. You can switch it on and off. This flip to uh, glyph, that means if you just flip it, it goes into do not disturb mode. I'm actually using it with them. This is useful. For example, right now, my phone is like this. I just put it like this. And if this links two times that means it has gone and do not disturb mode so these things are there and uh, let me actually show you one more thing with this glyph interface and again uh, with the ringtones uh, you can actually it actually changes as you can see by default for different one it blinks a little bit different so like this so i'm just using the default one I like the ringtones. It is a little bit nostalgic experience. Uh, but uh, another thing that I like with this glyph interface is again, uh, most of the time, if your phone is like this, the glyph interface doesn't make that much of a sense because. But again, if it's like this, yes, at least a little bit. But again, I feel uh, it should be further customized. Uh, one thing I like is uh, if you charge it, this back, as you can see, can enable it. This gives you visual idea. Ah, it went to the do not disturb mode because that reverse thing but if i put the charge you'll get an idea how much is in the charging that right now it's around 70 percent so again they are utilizing this glyph interface a little bit here and there uh but again not i didn't feel it's a solid game changer one thing is that it does have this reverse uh, uh, what wireless charging is there on this this is a wireless charger and let me just uh, uh, by the way uh, the fingerprint scanner is a uh, in display fingerprint scanner i have been hearing rumors that it's ultrasonic no it's not an ultrasonic but let me just place this all over this wireless charger and as you can see it starts charging wirelessly uh, up to 15 watts of wireless charging is supported on uh, this one uh, but again regarding the charging guys uh, no charger in the box as i've told you and uh, the charging uh, speed is 33 watts i wish it was 45 watts speedy charging it's power delivery charging but 33 watts of charging fingerprint scanner is very responsive i did not have a problem another small thing that i liked on this phone and generally this is not found even in premium mid-range smartphone the haptic feedback has been done very very well on this smartphone within the whole entire os it's done very very well so you feel that uh, haptic feedback everywhere and again the screen is also 120 hertz so it's very smooth in operation it's a good quality amlet screen that they're using very thin bezels as you can see and this gives you a view of vibe of the iphone my daughter actually saw this phone and said oh finally apple is going with the new design <laughs> So again, uh, you could say, yeah, the, the looks, it gives a vibe of iPhone. Uh, the screen quality, I did not have a problem uh, on this one. I'm using it on 120 Hertz. You can switch it back to 60 Hertz if you want. So a relatively clean UI experience that you're getting closer to stock, but they have added a few customizations here and there, as you can see, uh, as I've told you, this is the higher end variant that comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM. So this has 256 gigabytes of storage and the nothing OS and 256 gigabytes. So uh, here you have, and I like the UI, it's clean, uh, not too many functions, but again, what you need is there. I think so the whole mantra of this one is 
less is better that's what i felt with this smartphone haptic feedback was very good and i like this aluminium finish so it gives that premium feel uh, towards the phone and uh, before we proceed guys here are all the specs of this phone and i like that they did not do cost cutting on this phone uh, in fact in areas like ram they have used lpddr5 ram and the storage is also ufs 3.1 that's why the entire usage of this phone the phone felt very very fluid to use uh, it did not i did not feel like i was using a sort of a mid-range smartphone and as it's a snapdragon 728 uh, plus uh, uh, smartphone the battery life also should be very good i don't want to comment too much on the battery life because just two days since i've used but easily six and a half to eight hours of sot with the full day of usage you can easily get with this uh, smartphone because of the processor that is uh, used and overall i like the build quality on this one the build quality is uh, good uh, again the glyph interface i'm still getting used to it the only place as i've told you i use it is i just keep it like this and it goes to do not disturb the double uh, so that's where i'm using it quite a bit uh, i wish they do allow a little bit of more customization in the glyph interface for specific notifications i think so they can do with the software update if they do that that will be great but overall in the ui it's better it's good and in fact i liked it much more than what i expected to be frank uh, it uh, this smartphone did exceed my expectation but again guys still i do not know the pricing of the smartphone so i hope they price it well in india keeping my fingers crossed for uh, that but build quality the feel that it gives is a sort of a premium feel that it is giving and the haptic feedback was a surprise because that is generally uh, not that good uh, yes this one also has stereo speakers uh, and it's okay stereo speakers i would say decent nothing ground shaking or uh, something but decent i would say and if i go increase the volume yes it's low i guess i'm going to increase the volume guys this is the max. So, okay, stereo speakers. Again, I would say 60% of the volume comes from this and the 40% comes from this. It's decent for the price, but again, no bass or something like some of the very high-end Android phones. But again, for the price around 30, 35 that we are hearing rumors, uh, it's a decent uh, experience that you are getting. Again, I like no bloatware and the phone is very fluid to use uh, with that 120 hertz uh, refresh uh, rate. And uh, now uh, moving to another thing is, yes, this also has uh, uh, 5G, uh, it's supposed to have 12 bands of 5G. So in basics, uh, everything is sort of covered. Also Bluetooth is 5.2 and uh, this also has nfc nfc is also there uh, one thing i noticed on this one is that the screen is good don't get me wrong the screen is good it's gorilla glass 5 but i don't think so uh, at least on my unit this is a review on it uh, uh, they have olophobic coating so very quickly the screen gets a little bit uh, dirty and you have to constantly wipe it that is what i have noticed uh, recently try to do a, a dedicated camera review later on when the review embargo is lifted and that is going to be lifted after a couple of days so i'll do an in-depth camera uh, review and i'll share a lot of samples in variety of lighting conditions in fact i'll also try to compare it with some other smart android smartphones in this price range so stay tuned for that but the gist is that the camera performance was much better than what i thought but initial impressions if i have to talk about it uh, the smartphone perform much better than what expectations i thought yes uh, there can be a little bit more refinements in this nothing ui and stuff like that for example i don't know for some reason as you can see i can't move this google uh, pane above or dismiss this so this is permanently there i don't know why why can't i customize that so there are small niggling things like this but i think so they can easily fix these things with the software update again guys this is not a full review this is the first initial impressions of the smartphone i'm actively actually testing this smartphone so we'll be posting its camera review and also the full in-depth review of the smartphone soon so if you have any specific questions about this smartphone do let me know and again as i've told you at the time of shooting this video I also do not know what is the pricing of the smartphone. So do not want to comment or give a rating as of now. Once uh, uh, we'll know the pricing and all other details, in the next video, uh, I will concentrate a lot on what are the things that I liked, what I didn't like. But again, if you want to know specific things about this smartphone, do let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to include those things in my future videos and the full review of this uh, smartphone. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.